Hi guys, my name is Steven and welcome to video number six in, my, in this new series where I'm building a login registration system with CodeIgniter. What I'm doing in this video is I'll be creating a new model uh, with a function called canLogin which will essentially evaluate whether a user can log in with, with the credentials that they entered. So the first thing I'll do is create a new model. We'll call it model underscore users just like we're loading here. open up my PHP tag and I'll leave it open and I'll say class model underscore users extends I think it's mod yeah users Let me just double check that really quick name yeah model underscore users good extends CI underscore model okay now I'm going to create a public function call it can underscore log underscore in okay now we're not passing any variables to this I'm just going to rearrange this a little bit um, we're not going to pass any variables to it because I'm just going to grab um, the variables right from the post data using the code igniter way which means um, essentially I can I can have a, I have access to their post data um, whether I'm in the controller or in the model or even in the view you can you can use that post uh, function that I showed you before. So let's do that. Um, first thing I want to do is set two ver two where specifiers for the username and password. So this db where um, where email is equal to um, this input post email. And now I'll just copy this where password is equal to MD5 whoa <laughs> what did I do okay okay I only need three there I think four Perfect. That looks like too much there. Oh, derp. I only need one there. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll create a query object and set it equal to um, this db get. So this is the get will actually take any uh, any where specifiers already previously to it. And the, the, all I have to do is, with the get function is pass in the table that I want to get it from. Um, so in that case, it's just users. And then I want to go if. So now this this query will be an object of whatever's returned. We can go num underscore rows is exactly equal to one, which means if it found a user, meaning if they actually did enter valid credentials. Then return true. Else return false. Perfect. We should all be already be created, um, entered into the, connected to the database. Now all I have to do, um, all I have to do is actually insert a user before I can actually test this. So I'll go in back into my MySQL database. Click on insert. And I'll create someone with the user with the email of hello at welcome.com. Then what I'm going to do is I'll show you how to find this. Um, create an MD5 hash of the word password. So I'll just go to Google, and this is what I do all the time. Um, I'll go MD5 hash generator miracle salad. Sweet. I'll just type in password md5 and there's my md5 hash copy it and then just paste it right here perfect um, now if, now you'll notice like right here I encrypt whatever they typed to md5 and then I want to compare that to the to the entry in the database this is important because I actually don't want to store any like raw passwords on the database that's a huge security risk 
So what I do is I encrypt it, and when we register a user, we'll also encrypt their data, their password. Um, right now we're doing it manually with a generator, but uh, our code will actually be set up to do this eventually. And if you're familiar with other ways of like login registration systems, this will be really familiar to you. Cool. Um, now actually, I believe it should work. So what I'll do is I'll enter some bogus information. And there we have a uh, incorrect username password. Notice I actually don't I don't have a callback to check if the email exists. Um, that's a pretty big security risk because that way somebody could just go through like they could brute force it, I guess. Um, I'm not sure that's where they literally try every single like possibility of like email addresses or whatever. Um, but that way, like I'm not telling them if an email exists or not. I'm just saying if they can log in with their credentials or if they can't. Um, which is the best way to do it as far as I've been taught. Um, so what I'll do is I'll even try some other types of validation. And now I'll actually try and log in with the good credentials. Dot com and then password is password. Incorrect username password. Okay. Let's just try this again. Welcome.com. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna pause it. Okay, I'm back. I figured it out. Um, when I copied this line, I actually didn't change the post password. Maybe you noticed that and were laughing at me the whole time and saying, haha, what an idiot, Steven. You know, when you copy a line, you have to change it. Duh. Okay, so yeah, I changed that and this should hopefully work now. I go, hello at welcome.com password. Boom. We logged in. Now, uh, there's a couple other things we want to do right after we log in, like create the session uh, session data um, right here before we return true. Because if they can log in, we want to log them in right away. Um, so, and we can actually do that right in this callback, and it'll be really cool. Um, but we'll do that in the next video. Thanks for watching.